What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We have a brand new ban list. Now, I've already looked at this, but I still want to discuss it because I think that this list is absolutely awesome. Uh, just to dive right into it, we got Block Dragon Band, Jet Synchron Band, and Mecha Phantom Beast O-Line Band. I really didn't think that Konami was going to ban any cards, um, let alone make a lot of changes to our ban list because of COVID and you know, all that fun little stuff like that. But they did it. They got rid of Black, Black Dragon, almost said Black Dragon. Block Dragon, Jet Synchron, and O-Lion. Look, Block Dragon not being a once per turn, being able to easily get it off, and then whenever it's sent to the grave, you get basically three cards to your hand just to refill your resources. That shit's way too busted. Just way too busted. I think even I remember when the card first came out, people were like, this card seems good, but everything around it is just bad. This is going to be broken one day, and we finally hit that. Um, Jet Synchron and uh, O-Lion, they needed to go. You know, just getting off a of Jet Synchron, going into Link Karibo, bringing back out the Jet Synchron. I mean, it, it, just getting off a of Jet Synchron to make all those plays, I mean... Literally, any time I would see someone play Jet Synchron on EDO Pro, I would just surrender and go to the next game. And they'd get pissed off. They'd be like, why would you surrender so quick? I'm like, because I don't want to see you, with, you know, play with yourself for the next 20 minutes. Like, no one wants to deal with that shit. Moving on. That's all that we have banned. Moving on to the limiteds. We have Double Iris Magician. Now, I'm going to be honest. I didn't look up this card's effect before uh, I started recording. I just know that it's a Pendulum Support card. Um... I mean, I guess I really don't like Pendulums getting support, but that's just because the Pendulum mechanic just left such a bad taste in my mouth. I know Jeremy Mitchell is probably over the moon about this. Uh, shout out to you, Jeremy, if you're watching this video. You know, winning a YCS with Pendulums, and now we have access to Double Iris Magician. But will Pendulum players answer this for me? Will you guys play a one-of? I mean, it's a Magician Pendulum card, so it's searchable, but is it worth it to play the one-of? I don't know. I'm not a Pendulum player, so I tried that shit once and it didn't work out too well. Call by the Grave and Harpies Feather Duster at 1. We are in a format with triple evenly matched, uh, one Raigeki, and like what, triple Dark Hole, triple Lightning Storm, and now one Harpies Feather Duster. The shit's been banned for years. I'm sure the card is over the moon in prices right now. Um, I'm not going to buy one, which I'll be getting into uh, later in the video. Um, and then also only one Call by the Grave. So Call by the Grave has officially been everywhere on the ban list except ban. It's been at two, it's been at three, and now it has been at one. All it has to do is be banned, and then it's just like Ultimate Offering. It jumps all over the ban list. But this worries me, because Call by the Grave was such a good card for when you were trying to set up your board, and I feel like it's going to sort of have that Max C effect, where... Whoever opens up with the call by the grave and goes first is going to win because unless the opponent has multiple hand traps in their hand, I mean, call by the grave is just going to shut them out and then you're going to proceed to combo off. And even then, if the opponent opens up multiple hand traps, if their whole hand is just hand traps and bricks and then they draw for turn, I mean, who's to say that that one card can really get them out of that situation? That's what happened with me a lot when I was first experimenting with Sacred Beast. I would open up like a bunch of hand traps not have anything else in my hand, but because of the number of hand traps I opened, I was able to slow down the opponent and even play through their own call by the grave. Um, but then usually when I drew for turn, I only had maybe two cards in hand in total. And so how are you supposed to even play the game at that point? So this really worries me. This really, really does. I, I don't know how this is going to work. I just, I feel like it's going to be that maxi effect where one is just not good. Two is all right. And then three is fine. I feel like that that's going to be what we experience this format. To two and three. So we have Seer, Graph, Burning Abyss, uh, ABC Dragon Buster, and Totally Awesome. So throwing a bone to ABC and Frogs. Um, I've never really cared for ABC. I tried the deck when it first came out, and I just sort of dropped it. I know it's a good stun deck. I mean, sure, whatever. Totally Awesome, same thing. Sure, why not? The deck's irrelevant. Elder Lich is looking like Tier 1 with this list. And then giving Burning Abyss some support. Uh, along with three Tour Guide, and then, of course, three Machiora, three Gus Kraken, uh, three Pantheism, and three Widow Anchor. So, throwing a bone to Burning Abyss. That's good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardiche is now at one. This worries me big time, because uh, 
I mean, it's just such a combo extender. You could still end on double fog blades. So, yeah, I mean, they want to push Phantom Rage, so you do you, boo-boo. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not worried because I am. Um, so, yeah, the semi-limits, kind of whatever. Uh, Machiora, it's got the Errata. Tour Guide, sure. Pantheism, more support to Monarch, sure, why not. Um, Sky Striker, Widow Anchor 3, I'm happy with that. I mean, I feel like Sky Striker can still be a good competitive deck with 3 Widow Anchor. Just don't give him engaged, because then the deck becomes too splashable. Too splashable of an engine. And then Gust Kraken. Some people were worried about this. Uh, we're not going to see any sort of Ibushiki loop for 40 minutes. We're not going to see that. I mean, back when the deck was first kind of discovered, we only really had Max Seed, Baylor, and DD Crow, and most people were just playing Max Seed, maybe some Baylors. And now with all the other hand traps we have, this deck isn't going to work like it used to. On top of that, too, the deck played triple Into the Void and triple One Day Peace. We no longer have those cards at three. Uh, at least I don't think Into the Void is at three. I could be wrong. I'm not going to waste the time to go back. But even if it is at three, it doesn't matter because with One Day Peace at one, that's uh, minus two copies of card that made your opponent also draw. So when you wanted your opponent to mill out, you could abuse cards like One Day of Peace, but you'd also have to go through your entire deck. So bringing back Gus Kraken, sure. I mean, it could have come back to three, like three years ago. Um, now, the big issue I have with this list, um, which is sort of a blessing in disguise as well, considering I haven't really bought a whole lot of cards uh, this past format, um, this goes to show that Konami can kind of do whatever they want on the ban list, um, whether we have events or not. Because, I mean, I mean, what are they going to do? Look at remote duel statistics and, I mean, like, have remote duel invitationals from time to time? I mean, sure. I mean, if you can prove that people aren't cheating, which I guarantee you that they are, like I've been saying for months now. Um, but if I were a betting boy, I would say just don't buy cards. Because people that invested in Block Dragons to play at their locals and in remote duels and stuff, you lost money. Because now you can't use Block Dragon. And I bet you that people are going to be pissed off about this list because they're going to be like, Well, there wasn't any events and I bought cards and blah, 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 blah. And there's nothing that you can do about it other than it's your loss. Like, you shouldn't have bought cards. And this is why I said time and time again, do not buy cards. Because at the end of the day, we really don't know what's going to happen on the ban list. Um... You know, Konami could put out a ban list in December where they say no changes, or they can make even more changes. Um, and they had to do something to please the player base after the last ban list, which only had three cards go up to three. Um, so, please, you guys, even if you're just going to locals, like, just play a budget deck. Do something. Do not buy cards, because this, this list goes to show, even in a pandemic, Konami will do whatever it is that they want to do to change the game and to sell product. So please, just play online. Don't do remote duels if you can help it. It's it's garbage. I've said it before, and I'll keep on saying it till the end of time. Please do not buy cards, because this is just a perfect example. And I guarantee you, people are going to be idiots and go out and buy Harpy's Feather Dusters for $300 a piece. And then, you know, at some point down the road, they get banned, and then they're going to be pissed off. And it's like, well, I haven't played in any events, man. Well, then you were the fool for buying the damn card. <laughs> so... Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I'm still not going to be buying no cards. I'm just going to be playing online from time to time, playtesting, you know, all that fun stuff. Probably still going to be still going to be playing Dragma. Um, but Eldelich is looking good. Eldelich is looking like a fine ass hot girl at the bar because that deck is going to be tier zero. Because I mean, really, what's Adam Antipater going to do without Block Dragon? I mean, are they going to go back to their original builds that they played before, like when they first came out? I mean, I guess, but those builds weren't the best. Block Dragon just made the deck strictly better. So let me know what you guys think about all that and more in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.